anons uh, uh, today's speaker. Um, uh, this is uh, Professor Portenko with the talk, uh, several comments to the behavior of Brownian motion in Euclidean space with membrane located on a given hyperplane. Please. Thank you. Uh, uh, the quartz of stochastic processes I am going to discuss today was the topic of my previous talk on this seminar. I then presented some results of our joint investigations with Professor Bogdan Kopitko from Częstochowa University of Technology in Poland. Later, we submitted uh, we submitted an article on this topic to one of the probabilistic journals. It was refereed by two reviewers and several remarks and suggestions were formulated in their reports. One of those suggestions stimulated us to write an additional section to the original version of the article. I'm going to talk about that suggestion and our response to it. I, to begin with, I recall some notions from my previous talk. Mm -hmm. We introduce into consideration the function G capital of the arguments T, X, and Y that is given by formula one. Here, the inner integral is a surface integral. Oh, excuse me. Uh, 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 we, uh, we first fix a unit vector new in Rd and S is the subspace of Rd that is orthogonal to that vector new. And a function Q of X, a measurable function Q of X on that uh, hyperplane S is given uh, with its values in the interval minus one, one. And now we define the function G capital of the arguments T, X, and Y by, uh, by formula one. Here, the inner integral is the surface integral. In fact, this is the integral uh, with respect to the big measure in uh, D minus one dimensional Euclidean space. Okay. Uh, and here we have the function G that is nothing else but the uh, transition probability density of standard Brownian motion in RG. It is given by formula two. Okay. Uh, it was proved that there exists a continuous Markov process xt in Rd with its transition probability density given by the function g, by, by, by the function one. Okay. Now let us consider consecutive values of our process X of T at the times, at the uh, instance of time of the form K over N. N is fixed integer that is greater than or equal to one and k equals zero, one, two, and so on. And we say that 
an intersection through the membrane takes place at the instant of time k over n if this uh, product is negative. In other words, the, this vector x of k minus one over n and this vector x of k over n must lie in the different subspace, sub uh, half uh, in, in the different half space of our space Rd. Okay. And if and fix some t that is positive and denote by eta t n the number of crossings through the membrane among the set of random vectors x0, x1 over n, and so on, x of entire part of nt over n. The following theorem was proved and I, form, I formulated this theorem in my previous talk. If we consider the characteristic function of this random variable at the tn for fixed t and fix x, then and, and uh, C is the argument of this characteristic function. C is uh, uh, one dimensional. Uh, C is a number. Uh, okay, uh, and uh, our assertion it sounds like this. The limit of this characteristic function as n goes to infinity for fixed t and fixed x and c uh, is a function, th this limit exists and this is a function of t x c and this function is the unique bounded solution to the following, to the following equation, integral equation. You see here this unknown function, this limit characteristic function. And we have here some uh, Q, this is the function uh, given on S and it, uh, it plays the role of permeability coefficient of the of a membrane located on our surface S. Okay, Q of Y is permeability coefficient. If Q equals zero, maybe uh, if Q equals zero, so we have Brownian motion. Okay, our uh, process uh, coincides with Brownian motion. If Q of X equals plus one identically, then we have uh, in the half space X, X new, uh, in the half space X new, X new is greater than or equal to zero. In this half space, the corresponding process is nothing else but Brownian motion instantly reflecting at the points of, uh, hyper, of the hyperplane S. In the opposite half space, X nanu is less than zero. This 
process coincide with a Brownian motion in that half, half space that is killed as soon as it reaches uh, hyperplane, hyper, the hyperplane S. Okay, and if if Q of X equals minus one identical, then the reflection will be in the opposite direction. If Q equals zero, there is no membrane on S, okay? This is a Brownian motion. And you see how, how limit distribution depends on this on this coefficient coefficient of permeability in our paper we gave the following characteristic of the limit distribution. You see, that distribution is uh, determined by uh, equation four. And the kernel of this equation is transition probability density of Brownian motion. So it is natural to presume that this equation is gives the the solution to this equation is a characteristic function of some additive functional of d dimensional brownian motion and it is really so and our theorem Theorem two show what a functional uh, has the distribution u t x x c denoted by w uh, uh, by w t uh, the standard Brownian motion in R d and let WT denote the orthogonal projection of WT on the hyperplane S. Then, and uh, introduce the following, uh, the, the following additive functional of one dimensional Wiener process, WT scalar product on new. Beta t is the local time at the origin of the one dimensional Brownian motion, wt scalar product nu. Okay, so this functional has uh, this functional, uh, uh, the characteristic function of this functional for fixed t with respect to measure px. Uh, uh, that characteristic function is uh, coincides with the solution to this equation. The unique bounded solution of this equation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, very, uh, uh, very interesting example in our opinion. Uh, it, let q of x be given by indicator function of complement to a borel subset of s delta. So this coefficient means that the corresponding process is reflecting 
at the points of S minus delta, and there is no membrane at the points of delta. Delta is a, an arbitrary boreal subset of S. Then square of indicator is again the same indicator and one minus indicator is equal to indicator of delta of x and the limit distribution in our theorem one coincides with the distribution of the following functional. You see, it looks formula six. Uh, it looks like a cumulative time that the proof is W tilde. This is the projection on S of WT. That W tilde spends in the set delta up to instant of time t, but this time is measured in, in local time. The proof is orthogonal to W tilde. Orthogonal. Uh, yeah. Nikolai Ivanovich, uh, can I ask you the question? Yes. <clears throat> Uh, uh, can you show us, please, the initial theorem about the characteristic functional of ETAS? Yeah. Oh, here is it. Uh, so uh, now, up, up to now, uh, your statement is the following. The uh, random variables ETAS uh, uh, converge weakly uh, to the uh, such uh, interesting functional from the Brownian motion. But what about uh, much more strong convergence like uh, in probability or something? Uh, uh, I, uh, we, uh, I do not know. I, we, uh, our aim was to find out the limit distribution. And we, we, we did it. And okay. what about uh, the, uh, uh, the convergence in probability? I do not know. Maybe. OK, uh, thank you. Thank you. Um, OK. Uh, Mikola Ivanovich, it seems to me that uh, Alyosha Kulik with Yura Kartashov has had some results about convergence in probability maybe for for maybe. For, for such functionals not for such i mean for discrete approximation i he, I, I, I i remember those results uh, we have opportunity to hear and uh, uh, your record to show in ours on our seminar. Okay. Okay, this, thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, this theorem was criticized by our reviewers. Yeah. Why? Since the limit distribution in theorem one is described in the terms of Brownian motion in RD, but not in those of our original process. That is why we included into the revised version of our article, the following assertion. We can characterize that limit distribution in theorem one uh, in the terms of the process x of t. x of t, I, oh. uh, our process x of t is, given by, by, by this transition probability density. 
okay? And to formulate this theorem, we need some, we need introduce some, uh, some notions. Uh, LT, this is symmetric local time at the points of hyperplane S of the process X of T. And it is defined by formula seven. You see, this is the layer of six to epsilon. We, uh, we consider cumulative time that process that our process spends in this layer. And then we divide that, that time over uh, to epsilon and uh, calculate the limit of this additive function. And this a uh, functional is called the symmetric local time at the points of hyperplane S of the process X of T. Okay, and X tilde uh, is the orthogonal projection of X of T on S on the hyperplane S. And you see this uh, functional looks quite similar as the as this one okay and i would like to talk a few words about the proof of this assertion <clears throat> denote for for any x denote by x hat the following point in rd x tilde x tilde this is the projection orthogonal projection on s of the point x minus x nu minus uh, projection X on new. So X, X hat and X are on the same distance from S, but uh, in different half spaces. Uh, a function f of x is called as even, respectively as odd, if f of x is equal to f of x hat, or uh, odd means uh, the same minus here. Here are some examples of even and odd functions. I would like to, to draw your attention. I didn't understand why. I would like to draw your attention that this item in Formula One is the second item on the right hand side of formula one is an odd function because this uh, function is a function the function of y is a function of y because this fun function is uh, exponent exp exp 
exponent to the power minus y tilde minus z uh, uh, model model square mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. Mul multiply it <clears throat> multiply it by exp exp, exp maybe I would like to write down uh, exp uh, so uh, this is in formula two yes but you have to replace uh, x by z do you mean that this? that belongs to s here you ah see? that belongs to s yes i see yeah. so that's why yes. it is odd mm -hmm. even and when you multiply by y yes 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 that's why it it, it is an odd function okay so if you Mm -hmm. Here one. So no. So if you My uh, my aim now is to prove this equality uh, that if we integrate s even function h of y over all the space R d with g capital this integral is the same as the integral over rd of uh, that function h with g small g g t x y for, for, for Wiener process okay uh, and this is a consequence of the fact the fact that the second item in the formula one is an even function okay uh, maybe uh, we can interpret it uh, in probabilistic uh, language as that uh, it is due to that we uh, when we have symmetric function we do not pay any attention to uh, position of excursion of Brownian motion up of the hyperplane or above of the hyperplane. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, well, this formula. Here are some uh, some reason for this formula. As a consequence, we obtain the equality. Okay. Now, if we consider the layer of the six two epsilon containing the hyperplane s then indicator of this function is obviously s even so the integral of g capital is uh, over this layer is the same as this one this integral and this integral can be written as one one dimensional integral okay because integral over s i think that this is this formula is is clear okay so if we Consider now the integral additive functional with of this form. Okay, then okay. its characteristic. This is a W functional of our process x of t. 
okay? Because for fixed epsilon, for, for a fixed epsilon positive, we have a W, a w functional and its characteristic is, can be written in the following form. This is a one dimensional, one dimensional uh, Gaussian uh, distribution, density of the distribution. Okay. So now it is very, it is not a difficult exercise to prove that this, uh, this expression converges as epsilon goes to zero, converges, converges to, to, to this function. So we can use lemma 6.5 from Dinkin's book. And we can assert that there exists a W functional LT of the process XT such that its characteristic is given by uh, this integral. And this is a characteristic of the local time at the origin of a one dimensional Wiener process. Okay. Symmetric, a symmetric local time. Uh, uh, and uh, this, so this symmetric local time is a limit of uh, time spent in a strip between minus epsilon and epsilon divided by two epsilon. Yes, uh, uh, LT, because uh, L LT epsilon is given by this integral, you see? Yes. Okay. Um, uh, I, 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 yes, I understand. So, mm -hmm. so you, you get that uh, characteristic of L epsilon T for process X yes. uh, has the same characteristic as for Brownian motion. Yes. And yes. you know that for Brownian motion, the limit is this. So there exists a limit. Yes. And uh, mm -hmm. according to Lemma 6.5 from Dinkin's book. Okay. Uh, and this functional is a functional of our process X of T. But it, uh, its characteristic is the characteristic of uh, the local time at the origin of a one dimensional Brownian motion. If you consider X of T scalar product new, this is the, uh, this is a one dimensional Brown, oh no, 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 excuse me, no. X of T, X tilde of T is uh, a, is is a T minus one on dimensional on yeah. X. Yeah. Yes, X tilde is a Brownian motion uh, uh, on S on our hyperplane. Okay. Okay, and now and now. Uh, the following, uh, we can consider the following functionals because LT, LT is, uh, 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 is uh, a continuous, homogeneous additive functional with non-negative values, its trajectories are continuous non-decreasing function functions. So we can consider 
we can consider uh, such integral as the still case integral for each, for almost each, almost all trajectories. Yes, for any bounded measure of the function phi of x, such a functional is defined, is well defined. Okay, and it's, if phi is non-negative, then this is a W functional and its characteristic is given by this integral, integral from zero to T, d tau integral over S, phi of Y, G tau X, Y, D sigma Y. Okay. And now, Mikhail Ivanovich, may I ask a question about uh, this result? Yeah. Um, LT of phi, is it W functional if phi is just bounded and measurable, if phi is not continuous? Yes. Ah, be because, it, it, because its characteristic is uh, continuous. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. it, its characteristic, you see, this is a W function. Ah, yeah, yes, it is W. If phi mm -hmm. is non-negative, this function uh, and bounded, this is a W function because norma phi uh, can be written here if we uh, estimate this. Yes, yes, I see. You have, and you have continuity in X. And, yeah. and I have one more question um, about your result from the book 1990. Uh, so is it general fact for, for Markov process that if you have some W functional and you consider an integral functional like integral from zero to T phi of Markov process D and you integrate with respect the W functional that you have again W functional with characteristic given in not in nine, but you have to integrate phi with respect to to, to character to, to characteristic of L. I, I I do not know such a general result, but in my book uh, I proved uh, form some formulas like this pair eight and nine. Uh, in the situation, I, in, in uh, situations, uh, in, in my situation there in, uh, uh, in that book, uh, Q, the function Q was continuous. And uh, I, uh, uh, and I uh, prove, proved formulas, A, for formula nine, first for continuous function phi, functions phi, and uh, I, I uh, in, uh, in but, but you had the formulas eight and nine for continuous Q. Yes, and uh, and uh, and. Nevertheless, I assert that this, if functional LT of phi is given by eight, then the formula nine is fulfilled. Okay, thank you. Okay, and now,
And now, let us use the formula that expresses nth power of this functional through the integral of n minus one power of functional, but here you see from tau to, to t. I think that this equality is evident. And now how to calculate the expectation of the right hand side. You see here, if we denote by z n t x expectation of nth power of our integral, okay, then here we will have z n minus one t minus tau of y and uh, according to formula nine we should integrate phi of y with g t x y you see here we, we will have z n expectation of this we should take the conditional expectation of this functional given m tau, m tau. Um, but because we have Markov property, we can write down this expectation as z n minus one of t minus tau of x of tau and, and and now we can use this formula phi x tilde of tau is uh, this expectation can be calculated uh, this way. Okay, so we have this equality. And this equality is fulfilled for any n starting uh, any integer n starting from one. So if we put U capital T X C being equal to this expectation, this is a, a, this is the characteristic function of this functional. Then from this equality, we, as a consequence, have the following, the following equality, the following equation for the function, but here should be written U capital. U capital, okay, and this is nothing else but equation so but equation nothing else but equation. And now we have the, we characterize, we have uh, the characterizing, characterize, 
generalization of the limit distribution in theorem one in terms of the process X. You see here X tilde of S, X tilde of S, it is uh, very easy to see that X tilde is Brownian motion uh, in S, D minus one dimensional Brownian motion. And L of T is the symmetric local, ti local time of the process X, of the process X, the limit as epsilon goes to zero of uh, the, this functional, okay? So, this is the content of our additional, additional section to our paper. And, oh, excuse me. And I would like to, uh, to talk a little bit about the references. Uh, the process considered in this talk was introduced in some of my papers in uh, theory of probability and applications in Moscow in 1979. And it can be found in the book that was uh, edited in Kyiv in 1982 and translated by American Mathematical Society in 1990. Uh, with my colleague, Bogdan Kapitka, we considered many times ago, many times ago, we considered a multidimensional Brownian motion with a membrane located on a hyperplane and acting in an oblique direction. We, uh, in, uh, today, I consider it such a process uh, that, uh, membrane was located on S and on a hyper, hyperplane and acting in a normal dire direction. And uh, here we considered uh, some membrane that act, acts in an oblique direction. The number of crossings of uh, partly, reflecting hyperplane by a multidimensional Wiener process was considered in this paper with Svetlana Yefimenko uh, in 1987. We, we proved some theorem like theorem two in this talk. Uh, in the case of Q of X being continuous, when, where uh, we considered uh, mem uh, we considered membranes with continuous permeability coefficient. Okay. Uh, uh, this uh, paper, this is a short communication in Dopovidi in this year of these results. Some membrane for a symmetric alpha stable process uh, was considered with in in the uh, in this article. This, I considered, I published this 
uh, a paper with my colleague, Mikhail Asipchuk. Very interesting result was published in the first paper that written here. Uh, we, we show we proved the, that if we change, uh, if we make time changing in, in the process, uh, like uh, in the process that considered in my today's talk, uh, if we make time change, we have not a generalized, we have a generalized diffusion process, but not uh, the drift is not a generalized function, is, is an ordinary function, but it is not uh, continuous. And there is no uniqueness for the solution of the, the corresponding stochastic differential equation. Okay, and that's all. I thank you for being attentive. Okay, uh, thank you very much for pointing us uh, interesting uh, additive functional from a Brownian motion with membrane. And maybe somebody have questions or comments, please. May I ask a few questions? Yes. Uh, the first question is the following. Assume that absolute value of Q is one. So Q is either one or negative one. Then it appears that um, the limit functional of number of crossing is uh, zero. As, yeah. Yes. Uh, and this is very interesting because sometimes we pass through the membrane. So maybe maybe you have to take another uh, scaling to get some uh, non-trivial limit. I, I understand. Uh, uh, I think that uh, in that case, uh, you see the limit theorem here. There is some normalization, square root. Yes, yes. Square root over n. Uh, and uh, uh, I think that it depends on the geometrical uh, properties of uh, of the boundary between plus one and minus one boundary boundary. Ah, uh, maybe yes. Maybe in, if it is smooth, then you have to take n to some power. But if uh, the boundary is yeah, ugly, then maybe yeah, yes, another. Yes, yes. yes. Uh, it seems that it will depend on the local time of this uh, d minus one dimensional process on the boundary. Yeah. But you see, maybe, it, it may maybe, be yeah. the, the boundary may be all surface. Uh, I understand. Uh, just uh, suppose that it is good. It is smooth. Yeah, smooth. Yeah. The, then it, it, it leads to the intersection of this boundary. Uh, mm -hmm. Then we will have the local time of the uh, process on S on the boundary. Yeah? Maybe. Mm -hmm. Maybe. And, and my another question is, assume again that um, Q is either one or negative one or zero. Is it possible to write a stochastic differential equation for, for this process and maybe to get some strong solution? 
Because uh, if, if Q is continuous, then you have equation yes, with, with, yes. with local time. And if absolute value of Q is one, then it seems that you have to have some reflected Brownian motion uh, when you hit, say, set delta and you reflect to another part if you if you hit complementary sub, sub, subset, uh, 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 the complement of, of delta. But uh, can you prove that uh, your process satisfies weak or strong stochastic differential equation with a local time? Uh, or for, 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 for general Q, is it possible to write uh, stochastic? I, I, understood, I understood. Uh, uh, I didn't think about this, but maybe, maybe. I think that it is possible to write down such an equation, but it needs it needs some some reason, some, some arguments. I think that it is possible to prove something like that. And but um, I, I didn't uh, do it. And um, my, I, I have two more questions. So, uh, when you have a membrane, uh, you, you have generalized functional uh, and on this hyper plane, but direction is normal. And you yeah. told us that you have results with uh, with uh, oblique oblique permeability. Yes. Uh, I understand that here you have um, explicit formula for transition probability of your Markov process, and if Q is oblique, then probably there is no nice formula. Uh, but uh, is it possible to? To, to do something for oblique uh, uh, functionals? I, uh, I think that a theorem like the limit distribution for number of crossings depends only on the normal, uh, normal projection of uh, the direction. Okay. Yes. Uh, and uh, I think that this theorem can be formulated in uh, that situation, but uh, we we do not we did not consider some. We only constructed such a process. Uh, and it is not not so simple thing not a single uh, not a simple thing to construct that process some some approaches to constructing such a process was made uh, uh, my former student Ludmila Zaitseva. Uh, and uh, in her dissertation, uh, we consider some uh, uh, some approaches to constructing membrane acting in an oblique direction. Uh, but um, it was very far 
ago. And I have maybe two two more questions. <laughs> the first one is you um, introduced that uh, odd functions and even functions, and it is possible to prove. Yes, yes, s s yes s odd and, and s even, and is it possible to prove that if you um, cons okay assume that uh, the first coordinate is uh, new, and s are second and third other coordinates. Mm -hmm. If you consider the absolute value of the first coordinate and uh, leave uh, other coordinates as they are, will you get um, a Brownian motion in a half space reflected at the uh, at S at, I at, think the, at so. the surface? Yes. yes, I think so. Mm, and if you have this, then uh, if you have this, then uh, you you can say that. Okay, okay, I see. Thank you. And about oblique uh, oblique uh, Q, is it possible to to construct? Um, uh, your process with oblique Q, I don't know, this is just a suggestion, in the following way. At first, you consider a process in a half space uh, with reflection at the at S, at, at the membrane, but with oblique reflection. And uh, the first coordinate is just reflecting Brownian motion, and the second the second coordinate is independent Brownian motion, d minus one dimensional, plus integral of q of x d yeah. local time of the first coordinate. So th this will not be an equation. So you solve equation for first coordinate and then uh, equation for no, not equation then you have relation for other coordinates but you have to add um, like per, permeability uh, permeability coefficient now so like a label yeah. when you at the right or at the left i, I think uh, oh, okay okay so you first uh, construct process in a half space, and then uh, you make perturbation of transition probability density function to describe a process with uh, with a membrane. No, I uh, I think that uh, it should be. Should be constructed in the following way. As soon as the proof is uh, uh, is on S, we should turn on some motion in S. With some uh, with uh, some velocity, okay. We 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 can consider some elliptic operator on S, mm -hmm. and uh, you you have a membrane on S, and as soon as the process uh, reaches S, it, uh, it 
moves along S according to that elliptic operator, okay? If there is no diffusion in S, so you receive an oblique membrane in this case. I think that Bogdan Kapitko is very, uh, experienced, very strong in this. Uh, specialist in these problems. This is like uh, like a Feller, uh, Wenzel Feller mm -hmm. condition on on S. You see, on S we we can uh, consider not only diffusion in R D but some diffusion in S. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if uh, that diffusion is uh, degenerated, then uh, only, only drift is in that diffusion. So we, uh, we receive, we obtain an oblique direction for this membrane, I think. Something like that we did with Kopitko in that uh, article I showed. Uh, well, uh, my, my last question about uh, stochastic differential equation for your process. Uh, so you have stochastic differential equation if Q is uh, Continuous function. Yes. Q yes. Is, is continuous function. Yes. So, so I mentioned uh, re result of uh, Kulik and Kartashov about convergence of uh, additive functionals, but it, it seems to me that uh, I also had some result, and the result was approximately as follows: that if you have a sequence of Markov of Taylor processes. Uh, that converge weakly to a failure process. And if you have uh, additive, continuous additive functionals, or W functionals of, of these processes, mm -hmm. that such that they characteristic converge uniformly. It seems to me that converge uniformly. Mm -hmm. Then it seems to me it is possible to prove joint convergence uh, of pairs, uh, failure process and additive functional to the limit failure process and a W functional with the limit characteristic. And if uh, this is true, then you can pass to a limit, maybe, I'm not sure, maybe you can pass to a limit in equation when you approximate uh, your function mm -hmm. Q with sequence of continued functions, but there you, you should be very careful because uh, I don't know what, what type converges in L1 or in, in some, in some yeah, functional. Yeah, yeah. I think that it is possible to prove that the corresponding stochastic differential equation, uh, that uh, the process I consider it, uh, satisfy the corresponding stochastic differential equation. I will think about this. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, and uh, maybe somebody else uh, have uh, questions or comments, please. 
If no, I also have a short comment uh, and uh, one question. Uh, can you please show us the previous slide with this Q? Uh, just uh, slide number, uh, oh, this one, yeah? Uh, this formula, uh, I have just name for these formulas uh, because uh, it is like a generalization of the known cast formula for moments of the local time of Brownian motion. Uh, this yeah, is yes, this is uh, exactly uh, formula Feynman cuts formula, yes. Yeah, uh, so uh, it can be considered like a generalization. Uh, so uh, this is one comment and the next comment is the following. Uh, when we uh, consider W functionals, at least from Brownian motion, uh, we can put it into correspondence with some uh, special measures on uh, the uh, Euclid space. Uh, uh, in one-to-one -one correspondence. Uh, so uh, when we consider uh, the, your process X, uh, can we say that uh, for process X, due to the uh, different number, say roughly number of excursion above on, uh, up, uh, uh, and above of the uh, surface, we, uh, the set of this measures uh, or uh, like the set of uh, W functionals is much more rich than for original Brownian motion. I didn't understand your question. Uh, uh, okay, uh, one, one more again. Uh, if we have a W functional for Brownian motion, we can put it in the correspondence with some measure on the Euclid space. Yes. 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 Uh, now yeah. uh, let's take instead of Brownian motion, let's take a, into consideration your process X. Consider uh, again the set of W functions. Uh, what okay. will be the uh, set of corresponding measures or what? Uh, is it much more rich than uh, measures for Brownian motion or not? Uh, uh, I didn't. I didn't think about this question. I... Probably the same. If Q is not one, if the absolute value of Q is not one. Maybe uh, if we consider something uh, non-symmetric near zero, but we can expect something new. Uh, you, you see, if you consider one dimensional case and you, if you have a skew Brownian motion, mm -hmm. then um, behavior of probability dense, density function for skew and for usual Brownian motion for closed X and Y um, has approximately the same asymptotic. Yes, but uh, we have some some jumps in uh, in zero. Yeah. Um, no, pro, pro, the process did not any jump. Uh, yes, yes, uh, we jump. Uh, don't speak about the process. No, uh, about transition probability density function. Transition probability has a jump. Uh, yes, exactly. So, uh, in, in, have... in the third argument, in the third argument, yes, it yes. is discontinuous. Uh, so, uh, at least it uh, it looks. Uh, so, but uh, it will be interesting to describe all uh, W functionals in this process and compare it. Maybe. I, I don't think. I don't. I didn't think no. about this. Okay. Uh, thank you very much again. And uh, uh, Ge uh, Georgi, do you know who is the next speaker? The next speaker will be Oleg Zaborovsky. Mm -hmm. Okay, we, we will have a guest uh, on our seminar next uh, week. Uh, uh, so for today, we end our session. Uh, thanks, everybody, and see you next week. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.